Hey guys, welcome back to this Grand MA3 tutorial series. Today we're taking a look at positioning fixtures in the 3D visualizer that is built into the Grand MA3 program. To see the 3D visualizer, just click in an empty space, click Common, and 3D. Now that we can see a virtual representation of the stage, we need to position our fixtures similar to how they will be laid out on a physical stage. For this tutorial, we will be using 12 clay packy sharpies. Six of them will be flown, and the other six will remain on the floor. To choose the fixtures we want to reposition, let's open a fixture sheet. Let's select Sharpie 1 through 6. Next, we'll click the Setup button in the top right of the 3D window. In the encoder bar section of screen 1, you can see that now the editable attributes are position and rotation. For those that are using either a command wing or a console, you'll see that the inner encoder wheels will be used for changing position values, and the outer encoder wheels will be used for rotation values. As usual though, you can still click on each attribute to enter values. I know that these six fixtures will be flown six meters up, they will be part of my upstage truss, and they will be about one meter apart from each other. So, I'm going to start by entering a value of 6 in the position Z attribute, and a value of 2 in the position Y attribute. To space these out across the X axis, I have some options. I could select each fixture one at a time and input their X axis value, or another way is to use the align tool in the encoder bar. If I click the align button once, it changes to a forward slash symbol. This will spread the first and last fixture in our selection across the chosen axis, while also evenly spreading the fixtures in between first and last selections. With our flown fixtures selected and aligned in the first mode, let's move the position X encoder wheel to negative 2.5 through 2.5. Great, our flown Sharpies are now where we want them to be in the 3D visualizer. Let's move on to the Sharpies that will remain on the floor. We'll first clear out our selection, and then select Sharpie 7 through 12. As you might have seen, the encoder bar went back to the normal attribute layout, even though we still have setup selected in the 3D window. To get back to the 3D setup attributes, just click anywhere in the 3D window. First, we want to flip the fixtures to be right side up. In the rotation Y attribute, I'm going to enter a value of 180. Even though MA3 automatically moves the value to the X and Z attributes, it still comes out to the same rotation. These six fixtures will be spread evenly six meters across and will be making a V shape with the bottom of the V being upstage. I'll click the align button to get to the first align mode and then move the position X encoder wheel to negative three through three. To create the V shape, I'm going to click the align button until I get to the mode that looks like a less than and greater than symbol next to each other. This align mode affects the middle of a selection greater than the first and last fixtures, which will go unchanged, and then evenly aligns the rest of the fixtures in the selection. Let's demonstrate this. With the fifth align mode selected, I'm going to rotate the position Y encoder wheel. As you can see, Sharpie 1 and 6 do not move. Sharpie 3 and 4, being the middle of my fixture selections, are being moved further upstage, while Sharpie 2 and 5 are evenly splitting the distance. I'm going to set these to zero through about two. After you have finished positioning your fixtures, clear your selection, exit the setup mode, and always remember to save your show file.